Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the first eSchool Forex webinar. I hope you can all hear us and see us. And if you don't, please use the chat box on your right side. We are very excited to welcome you in this important step of our project, and one that is focused on training of teachers. Today, we will present our eSchool Forex network learn something about Moodle and show you one sample course our partners have prepared for you. First, uh, we would like to introduce you to the tool we are using, Adobe Connect. In the upper left corner on the ribbon, you will see some icons. You will see the sound icon and raised hand icon. We will use the raised hand icon during our Q&A so we can see who wants to talk to us and who does not. Uh, the microphones for participants are disabled at this point and we will turn them on in time for questions. In the meantime, please use the chat box. If you experience any problems, the chat is the most convenient way to reach us. Bear in mind that the chat is visible to all participants. When the time for questions does come, please use the raise hand option. Next, uh, we would like to tell you more about the project approach, its aims and objectives. eSchool Forest is a network project which uh, was started within the framework of the EU LLP program, Comenius. The project started on January 1st, 2014 and will end on December 31st, 2016. The project is implemented in eight European countries from the Danube region and is carried out by 10 project partners. Each of the partners is specialized in a relevant field of expertise. The countries included are Germany, Austria, Hungary, Slovakia, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria and Croatia and the partners from these countries constitute the core structure of the eSchool 4S network. The network focuses on promotion and innovation in thematic areas of education for sustainable development in the context of European integration, capacity development in the field of e-learning, and awareness raising concerning the needs and potentials of cross-border cooperation in fields related to sustainable development. The project is aimed at teachers, schools, school advisors, teacher training, initial and continuing, and national government institutions in the education sector. The main goal of the project is to create a transnational network which will promote cooperation in exchange to foster education for sustainable development and information and communication technologies in the Danube region. The project partners approach this task through development, testing, and disseminating a web-based platform which includes innovative e-learning and teaching concepts and materials. An important element of this approach is collaboration with teachers and their involvement in different stages of the implementation. Motivated teachers are crucial and we will use the eSchool4S platform in their classroom and that will have a great influence on our project. The teachers are expected to use the platform and materials prepared for them to prepare their classes and provide feedback on the content and platform, as well to give recommendations for improvement. They are the ones who can give practical advice and identify any shortcomings. Their feedback will concern didactic and methodological aspects, as well as content, structure and perspective. Teachers are invited to participate in the next phases of the project and to test the platform with their students. As to the materials, they were created with a very specific structure in mind. In the development of the e-learning materials, eSchool has used the concept of interdisciplinary competency domains. There are three core competency domains, recognition, evaluation, and action. Recognitions, recognition enables students to process information and recognize facts, analyze and differentiate different levels. Evaluation requires them to change perspective, to critically reflect and to form their opinion. They are required to assess and develop ideas. 
action requires them to contribute to the solution of a problem, to participate, and to personally pursue a goal of a change. The aim is to encourage students to learn how to evaluate and act, not to simply introduce content to them. Now, to introduce the structure of the Moodle platform, and we will show everything on an example, on the main page, you, you will find some general topics or general themes. They are called courses. Every course has an introduction, and within each course, you will find modules, which are smaller units. All the modules are relevant to the course theme, but they do not follow each other in any order. Modules consist of even smaller units, called lessons. All the lessons within a module are connected. Lesson is the smallest unit in Moodle. Besides lesson, you will find more materials within modules, different resources like documents or activities, like games to play with your students. It is important to understand that some courses do not have modules, but consist entirely out of lessons. And now, we will turn to the practical side of this webinar and go through the Moodle platform. So hello everyone, my name is Jure, I am Valeria's colleague and I'm going to show you in the next few minutes uh, just the basics of Moodle, just how to get things started. So I think you all went through this part mostly, but let's just repeat it in a few minutes. So in order to log into Moodle, first of course you have to write the address, the moodle.eschool4s.eu into a web browser's tab, and then you have to click the login button in the upper right corner of the screen. So I guess you already did this part, but let's go through it once again. So what you need to do here first is to create a new account. So on the right side of the screen, you see the button create new account. I'm going to click that. And now there's a number of fields that you have to fill in. So of course the username that you would like to have the password, be sure to use some lowercase and uppercase characters in, in it. You need to type in your email address twice to make sure it works. Your first name, your surname, your city, town, and finally the country that you live in. Now once you fill all these fields, note the, that all of them are mandatory, so you have to really fill out all of them. You click create my new account, and then you wait for an uh, invitation email to arrive at your email address. I'm not going to do that right now because it takes a few minutes for the email to arrive. But when, once you get the email, all you need to do is to click the link in that email and you'll be able to log in using the username and the password that you, that you wrote here. So I'm going to skip to that part now. So my desired username was Ilya Petrovic. You write your password here. You can click this checkbox to remember the username and password that you typed in, and then you click login. Now, the screen that you would you should have in front of you now is the home screen. It's this one over here, where you can see that the Moodle that you're using right now has uh, has several courses in it already. Now, these are some of the courses. First, we're going to say a few words about the teacher's corner, and then later, something about this other course, what is sustainable development. Uh, on the upper part of the screen, you can see a nice introduction to your Moodle. On the right side, you can see uh, some users that are online right now. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, to click on the teacher's corner course. Now here I have some basic information about the course. For now it's only the teachers teaching this course. So I'm going to click the link once again. And now uh, I have some fields that I can again uh, fill in. Because right now I'm just registered at the Moodle. So I have my user account, but I'm not enrolled yet in any of the courses. So of course you cannot enroll always on your own. Uh, at any course, 
but uh, if your system administrator gives you an enrollment key, then you can do it. So for this example, I'm going to use a self-enrollment key for the role of a student. Of course, different roles have different, uh, different privileges, different rights on the system. I'm going to, as I said, use the student key. So the student key you can use for this is WOM42 underscore PKM. So this is the key that will be available to you as well. I'm going to copy it, then paste it here. So once again, it's capital WOM42 underscore PK and then our capital M. And I'm going, to I'm going to click the Enroll Me button here. So if you typed the key uh, correctly, then you should be able to see something like this. This is the main page of the Teacher's Corner for eSchools, eSchool for S uh, course. Uh, now here you can see that the course already has a few materials uh, associated with it. Here on the top of the screen you can see a few discussion forums with different topics and a few more materials down here. But right now I'm going to, to switch to, to my colleague Valeria again. And uh, if you have any questions, of course, you can raise your hand or you can type them into the chat box. So a short pause right now, a good time for questions. If there is anything you need to clear up or you have anything to say to us, please do and you can use the chat or okay now we have a question. A user has problems with the with the sound. It, she says it keeps interrupting. Does anyone else experience this problem? Okay, Alexander, we will try to solve your problem. And in the meantime, let's go back to Yura again. Okay, so uh, I just showed you how to, to register on Moodle. I showed you how can you enroll in a course. And uh, right now I'm going to, to change my user account to give myself some additional privileges. And uh, so this is not the part you can do on your own, not yet, but right now we are going to, to show you uh, how uh, a more detailed course on Moodle looks like. So I'm going to share my screen with you now once again. Okay, I hope you can all see me right now. And now I'm going to, to click on a course, what is sustainable development and hand over to, to my colleague Valeria. So, as you already explained, we are viewing Moodle from a different role right now, but it is very similar to what you will be seeing. Note to everyone, the first time when you enroll in this particular course, what is sustainable development, you will be asked to use an enrollment key, which you will receive in the presentation of today's webinar. Now, this example, What is Sustainability, is a fully developed course and an example of what you can expect from the eSchool 4S platform. Now, when we click on the course, we see the introductory, the introductory part, in which uh, every course has a short explanation on its topics, on activities and uh, its content. And you can see that this particular course has only lessons. Now, as we said before, some Moodle courses will uh, cons consist of modules, but some will not. This one is an example of a course which contains only lessons. Now, lessons one and two 
are developed for the classroom. And teachers can use them with their students. But lesson three, education for sustainable development, is developed especially for teachers. And they are the ones who will use this the most. Now let's, let's take a look at lesson one. Again, you will have a short introduction and some learning activities. Now these learning activities can be used for preparation of your class or they can be used in the classroom itself. So if you can, uh, for example, show interconnections among global issues to your students, you will open this resource and use it as you want. Here is a video which you can show to the students in your classroom or you can use it to prepare your class. If we go back and again we can go to lesson two. Again we can see an introduction and some learning activities. Here you can find happiness and sustainability in which you can find some information, some links, and again use them in the classroom if you want to. Now, courses in Moodle can vary in their appearance. Again, some will have modules and some will not. In lesson three, which is developed specifically for teachers, you will find more information and learning activities in which you can educate yourself on education for sustainable development. You will find some good questions, some movies, and resources for yourself. Besides these, the courses in general, which you'll see here, there's an equally important part of the Moodle platform, and this one was created just for the teachers. It's called the Teacher's Corner, and here you can find many interesting things. If we go to the Teacher's Corner, like my colleague showed us, you will see different blocks. In the Teacher's Corner, as you already know, we have teacher's questionnaire. The first one, the one we asked you to fill in to last week. And if you didn't do it, which is fine, we kindly ask you to do it now. If you click on the link, you will see the options of answering questions and you can fill out the questionnaire. Your assignment for today is to answer the second teacher training questionnaire, which you can do after the webinar, or if you feel like it, you can do it right now. The questions are not difficult and it doesn't take a long time to fill it out, so please don't forget to do it. In the next block we can see some materials for teachers for their training. Here you will see Moodle for Beginners, which is a PDF file, and here you will find uh, a recording of this webinar and you can watch it later if you want to revise or if you want to go back to a certain point you can find everything here. The next block regards uh, copyright. Now in this first phase this may not be very important for you but we strongly urge you to read through it and see and learn something about copyright, about Creative Commons, about public domain, and open educational resources. This part will be more important in our next steps, but it's very interesting to see how you can use images or materials, and to see and check for yourself whether you're breaking some rules. The next blocks, you will see additional readings and additional reading materials. Now, the first additional reading on Education for Sustainable Development will give you some resources to expand on this topic and additional information for thematic courses 
2 to 6, which are the ones you saw on our main course page, we'll have additional reading materials regarding topics in those courses. These will be filled out eventually, but right now it's important for you to see and understand what you can find in here. A very important part of Teacher's Corner is this block here. Here we have different forums for teachers. We have a discussion forum in which we already started some topics. Our colleague already started a welcome topic and we would like you all to uh, log in and come to the teacher's corner and say hi to everybody in this teacher's uh, discussion forum to say who you are, just like teachers from Romania already did. It's a very nice way to get to know everybody and to see who is participating in this project. During the training, you are welcome to form training groups. We have started one group as a discussion forum for Croatia. Now, these groups do not necessarily have to be purely national. All teachers are welcome to participate in any national group. But it's a good way to connect with your teachers locally and perhaps, if you feel more confident, discuss some issues with them in your local language. So, just to revise, please fill out the first questionnaire, if you didn't already, fill out the second one, and say hi to everybody in the discussion forum under the topic Welcome. So, the question is, what are the next steps and what should you as teachers do in the next couple of weeks. Now as we showed you, a course is already ready for you to be used and we would like you to use it, like we suggested, using lesson one and lesson two freely and lesson three for yourself during the next two weeks. Think about how you would like to use them with your students, you can test them and you can think about better ways to use them, some of which we may have not uh, stated in the course. All of you teachers have experience with lesson plans and class preparation. Now in order to help you implementing, to implement these materials, we would like you to complete a lesson outline. It's, very, it's a simplified version of a lesson plan, and it's not as extensive as lesson plan. It's just a draft of your activities in the classroom. And we have prepared a draft, which you can find in the discussion forum under the topic lesson outline. Now, when you go to the what is sustainable development course and you look through the materials, you think about how you would like to use them and you implement them in your classroom, you open this lesson outline, which you can fill out very quickly, stating your uh, lesson title, the subject uh, in which you're teaching it, what area you will be covering, any specific topics you will cover as well, what is the main aim and goal of this lesson, what is the target audience, it will probably be your class, but it will be very useful to say which age the class is, at what venue or a place of execution you will carry out this lesson, whether it will be in the classroom or whether it will be an assignment for them to do at home, perhaps you will do it somewhere in the park Either way, please just write down where you will do this lesson. Then the group size, so what is the number of participants and how long will this lesson take. If there are any resources other teachers might want to use when they're repeating your lesson, please just write down what you used, whether it was a 
PC for PowerPoint presentation, or a blackboard, or a whiteboard, or perhaps a handout. Lastly, just a very quick uh, lesson flow, what you will do in the introductory part of your class, how you will develop the lesson, and how you will manage the conclusion. Now you can download this form from our discussion forum. And after you have gotten to know the, what is sustainable development and implemented it in your classroom or just thought about how you wanted to implement it, fill out the lesson outline and then you can post your lesson outline as a reply in our discussion forum. Now, if anything here is not completely clear, you can always uh, turn to your uh, local eSchool Forest partners. They can help you, and we are here at your disposal. Now, our next meeting will be on Thursday the 15th. We will have a webinar again, the same format, the same method as we did now. And there, we will show all the lesson outlines and all the features will have a chance to participate actively and share their experiences and tell us how they did and what they would like to do next or perhaps uh, what they would like to change. By that time, we will have the third questionnaire ready for you and you will be able to fill it out then. We will keep you informed on the deadline and all the dates, all the links you will need for the questionnaire and for the webinar and please remember that there, your assignment is to fill out all three questionnaires because uh, on that basis we know which teachers participated and which teachers will receive the eSchool 4S certificate. Uh, and very briefly, as we are coming to an end, I would like to tell you about the next steps in our project. After the second conference in Hungary, which will be held in November, this project will enter a new stage, one in which you will be able to participate with your students and use the materials actively in your classroom. By that time, all of the courses will be ready for you to browse, go through, and use them in your classroom class preparation. On all these steps, you will be informed in due time by our local project partners. And now, we have time for questions and comments. Is there anything you would like us to repeat or perhaps show again? Uh, was there something we didn't explain very well? Something you would like to hear more about? Now we will have time to discuss everything with you. So, you will see now on your uh, Adobe Connect ribbon that a uh, little mic icon for the microphone has appeared. Right now it's white, but if you want to talk to us, you can click on it and it will turn green. And let's not forget, we also have a raise hand option so that we know who would like to speak. <laughs> we'll give you some time. We are in no rush. If there's anything you would like to ask, okay, then I will just recap what the next steps for teachers are. Firstly, you will fill out the questionnaires. If you have already done so, thank you very much. You will have two weeks to use the What is Sustainable Development course. And that, that course is fully developed for you. And you can either think about how you would like to use it, 
or you can use it actively in your class preparation. To help you do that, we have prepared the lesson outline. Lesson outline can be found in the teacher's corner on the Moodle platform, in discussion forum, under the topic lesson outline. You will fill them out, it doesn't take a lot of time, and you will upload yours as a reply in the, the same discussion forum. And then we will meet again in two weeks time on October 15th, probably in the same time as this one. And we will look at all of those lesson outlines to see how call your colleagues have uh, thought, th thought about implementation or perhaps how they implemented the materials. And we can exchange ideas and examples of good practice. It is very important to see what other people have done and to learn from their good experience. In the meantime, please don't be shy. Go to the discussion forum, to the welcome topic, and say something about yourself so we can all get to know each other very well. Now, if there are no questions, I would like to thank my colleague for teaching you how to use Moodle. I would like to thank you myself for your patience and your time. I hope you have enjoyed and learned something useful and you have been participating in the first eSchool Forest webinar. Thank you for your attention and have a nice evening.